When Chesterfield mom Tanya Peake withdrew two of her children from public school, she breathed a sigh of relief. You know, the chronic headaches and the nosebleeds and the, um, and the depression, you know, all of that immediately lifted. She says her child with chronic nosebleeds couldn't deal with her condition with the mask. Peake's kids were eventually granted medical exemptions, but then told to wear face shields. My first grader was saying, Mama, I can't see any of the colors when they talk about you know, what color is this? It looks different behind this shield. So she agrees with Governor Glenn Youngkin's executive order making masks optional in schools.